I'm in over my head. I'm Mr. Blake. And this is Bearcat TV. <laughs> Horses on the meadows. Hello, middle school, and welcome back to Bearcat TV. The new show specifically designed to help keep you firmly in the know. My name is One Take Blake and, uh, line? Uh, uh voice speak, uh, yes? Yeah, so, uh, sentence words. Uh, today is Monday, February 8th, and on this week's Bearcat TV hit list, we have special events. Lunar New Year expose with Miss Fong and an in-depth look at the upcoming sports day activities. Let's dive right in. I'm diving in now. And yes, I do that every week. Middle School Bearcat TV has recently learned of a special event that is taking place in just under Two weeks time. On Friday, February 19th, the high school science department will be sponsoring a special screening of a documentary called Picture a Scientist. The screening will start at 3.30 p.m. This documentary highlights the experiences of female scientists and explores the concepts of discrimination, bullying, and most importantly, allyship. If you are interested in social justice and science, I encourage you to register as soon as you can. A follow-up event will also be held on Tuesday, February 23rd with ISM Women Alumni Scientists. For more information, check out the upcoming slides in today's advisory slideshow. Now, for something completely different. that we have no school on Friday. But did you know, the reason we have a holiday is due to Lunar New Year? Let's go to our Lunar Field Correspondent, Mr. Blake, who has more information on the moon. The moon! Yeah, that's not right at all. Producers, can we, uh, how does that guy still work here? Let's go over to Miss Christine, who is Chinese Filipino to learn real facts about how this national holiday is celebrated here in the Philippines. Lunar New Year is one of the most important and widely celebrated holidays in China, as well as across the world, where there are numerous Chinese communities. Here in the Philippines, Chinese communities represent approximately 5% of the country's total population. Even though this is a relatively small group, Lunar New Year is one of the most anticipated celebrations in the Filipino calendar. Binondo represents the oldest Chinatown community in the Philippines, and during Lunar New Year, it becomes the exciting center for numerous celebrations. Chinatown is lit up with Chinese lanterns and is decorated in a blanket of red decorations, signifying energy, happiness, and good luck. In non-COVID times, visitors crowd the streets of Binondo's Chinatown to watch colorful dragon dances that represent power and strength and creative lion dances that symbolize safety and good luck. Firecrackers and fireworks are a big part of Lunar New Year celebrations. These are supposed to drive away bad spirits, bad luck, and the mythical beast called Nian. Many Filipinos will also use horns and cooking pots to create additional noise. So if you hear and see fireworks this weekend, now you know why. If you and your family celebrate Lunar New Year, enjoy your tikoi and konghei fatsoi. Thank you, Miss Christine. And next up, we have Dose special guests who are here to talk about middle school virtual sports day. Let's get her up. Let's give up. We gotta give it up. Give it up for Coach Quinn and Coach Finley. Oh. That looks like some mighty fine coaching happening right there. 22. 23. Yeah, so uh, Coach Quinn and uh, my God, that's a marvelous coach in there, Coach 
Finley. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about Sports Day? Well, Sports Day's happening on the 24th of February. Is that right, Coach Finley? You snarky little devil. Uh, how long are these sessions? Oh, I've been going for about one hour thirty. <laughs> no, no, I mean like the sessions for Sports Day, not your workout. Oh, sorry. Well, those sessions, they're 40 minutes long. 40 minutes on the Zoom. Make sure those kids get there on time. Will you make sure? Oh yeah. my gosh. I don't think this is how you ride a bike. Oh dear. All right, Coach Finley, come on. You gotta be on my team. Sign up for my activity, buddy. Sign up for, what? Ah, good boy. I'm sorry, Mr. Blake, but there's a limit for each session at Sports Day. You didn't get in this one. Are we doing this, Coach Quinn? Oh, we're doing this. Parkour. Parkour. Oh. <laughs> Parkour. 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 Ah, <sighs> rough day. Rough day. Oh boy. Parkour! Oh, yeah. So how do we sign up for these activities? <laughs> well, we sign up with our advisory, our advisory teacher, that is, after this short video. All right, thanks Coach Finley. Yes. My word, you are a genius of sports. Yes, he is. Parkour. Well, that's a wrap for this week. Tune in next week for more Bearcat TV! Updates, and remember, be here, be you, belong, Bearcats. And as always, you stay classy, middle school.